In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use Place Mode of the Modes panel to add actors to our level. So the Modes panel has five different modes. To select the mode you want to work in, simply click on one of the five icons at the top of the Modes panel, or hold down the Shift key and press either the 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 key, depending on which mode you want to select. So if I press Shift and the 2 key at the same time, it will take me into the second mode here, which is paint mode. Or if I press shift and the five key, it will take me into the fifth mode. But in this lecture, I'm only gonna discuss the first mode, which is called place mode. So I want to press shift and the one key to make sure I'm in that mode. And now the first icon, the one with the brown box and light bulb should be selected, which is indicated by having a gray background rather than a black one. So what is place mode used for? Well, very simply, place mode is used to place actors into your level. The content browser is also used for placing actors, but there are a few key differences. Place mode is used for simple, common, generic actors, while the actors in the content browser tend to be more complex. Also, the list of actors in place mode remains static. You cannot add new actors to the place mode panel, while in the content browser, you can import content created outside of the Unreal Editor into your project or create new ones. So how do we use place mode to place actors into our level? Well, it's very simple. All we have to do is click on the actor we wish to place and drag it into the viewport. And if you want to delete the actor, all you need to do is press the delete key on the keyboard when that actor is selected, like so. All right, so now I'm gonna go over these various tabs. Place mode is divided into tabs of different groupings of actors, starting with the basic tab. The basic tab simply contains 10 of the most commonly used actors. Above the basic tab is the recently placed tab. This will be a list of actors that you have recently placed into your level. This is useful when you're going to be working with a small set of the same types of actors for a while. In that scenario, you would be able to just keep the recently placed tab open and drag and drop everything from there without having to switch between all of the other tabs. Below the basic tab is the lights tab. As I mentioned earlier in the course, a light in the Unreal Engine is an actor that is meant to represent the light projecting from some source. Then we have the visual effects tab, which as its name suggests, contain actors that add a variety of effects to your level. I'll be covering these in greater detail later on in the course. The BSP tab contains our geometry brushes, which we talked about briefly already. If you're curious, BSP stands for binary space partitioning, but that's not important to know. Just know that this is our brushes tab. The volumes tab is used to define gameplay volumes. A volume is a 3D area of space that is invisible to the player and serves a specific purpose depending on its type. So, for example, a blocking volume will prevent actors from being able to enter that volume. A pain-causing volume will cause damage to an actor who enters that volume, and so on. And lastly is the All Classes tab, which contains all the actors from the other tabs plus some additional actors not found in any of the other tabs, either because they are less common or just didn't fit nicely into one of the other groups. And so obviously this list is somewhat long, and so this makes this search bar up here useful. So by typing text in the search bar, you can quickly narrow down the results to what you're looking for. And that will conclude the lecture on the place mode of the modes panel.